the tradition of holiday travel versus the recommendations to stay home slow the spread of COVID-19. We're coming to visit family for Christmas. A decision her family made, but not before laying out a safety strategy. Absolutely, we did. It's um, my in-laws, we're coming to visit my in-laws. They're a little bit older. So we took all the necessary precautions. We quarantined for two weeks before coming, washed our hands, wore our masks, and we'll stay in a condo away from them so it's safe, and we'll just visit them and keep our masks on. Orlando International says it's doing all it can to provide a safe atmosphere for people who do want to travel. They simply asked the travelers to follow all of the safety guidelines. We got a backpack full of hand sanitizer or mask. We've been doing what we can. For travelers using a certain set of adjacent gates at OIA, there's now a density pilot program, which using radar measures the crowd size at each of those designated gates. Green means plenty of space, yellow not as much, and red means perhaps find another spot to wait. We did our due diligence and we decided that it was okay for us to travel as long as we just follow precautions and uh, that's what we did. The Millers spent a week here enjoying the weather and are now heading back to the Midwest. Just under 32,000 are expected to leave OIA this Christmas Eve. Orlando is the busiest in the country when measuring just departures. But for many, we're here every Christmas, so we got to be here. At OIA, Dave McDaniel, West News.